Here we have some problems with consecutive odd or consecutive even integers. And if you've done problems with consecutive integers before, you know we usually choose x, x plus 1, x plus 2 uh, as the, our placeholders, our names for the consecutive integers. With consecutive odd or even integers, it's a lot like that, except instead of being just one apart, they're two apart. So we can think of um, our, you know, first integer as being x, our second as being x plus 2, or third as being x plus 4, and so on. So if you think about three consecutive integers, 3, 5, and 7, x would be 3, 5 would be 3 plus 2, 7 would be 3 plus 4. So that's sort of the formula for consecutive odd or consecutive even integers. Let's look at this first problem. It says, find three consecutive odd integers such that 6 times the sum of the first and second is more 6 more than 10 times the third. OK, let's uh, take this a piece at a time. First of all, this is our first, our second, and our third. So we've got those defined. And then I always look for the is, because that's our equal sign in the equation we're going to set up. And so let's just put that in here. There's our equal sign. And let's look at the left of the equal sign first. It says 6 times the sum of the first and the second. Well, the first and the second are these two. The sum of the first and the second is x plus x plus 2. And then 6 times that would look like this, 6 times that whole quantity. All right, now let's figure out what's on the right of the equal sign. <clears throat> that is 6 more than 10 times the third. Well, the third is x plus 4. 10 times the third is 10 times that. And then 6 more than that is just plus 6. So that's what the equation needs to look like for this one. Let's see if we can crunch out uh, an answer here. So we can combine some like terms. x plus x is 2x. So inside we'd have 2x plus 2. And then we have our 10 times x plus 4 plus 6. And we can distribute our 6. So 6 times 2x is 12x. 6 times 2 is 12. And then we have 10. We'll distribute the 10. 10 times x is 10x. 10 times 4 is 40. And then we have our plus 6. So this simplifies to 12x plus 12 equals... 10x plus 46. Now we have x's on both sides of the equation, so I think I'm going to subtract 10x from both sides. That'll get rid of the x's on the, the right. Let me write this over here now. Uh, so this is going to be 12x minus 10x, that's 2x, plus 12 equals 46 is left over here. And then we're going to subtract 12 from both sides. <coughs> so we're going to get 2x equals 34. And when we divide both sides by 2, we're going to get x equals 17. And that's the point where we should look back at the answer choices. So this one's got 17 in it, and this one's got 17 in it, but uh, this one's not consecutive integers. It should be 17, 19, 21. That's exactly what we have in A, or consecutive odd integers, I mean there. All right, let's try one more. Here, a little more work. We have to find four consecutive even integers. So let's just set them out again. So the first, the second, the third, and the fourth. So the first we can call x. Since these are consecutive even integers, they're going to go up by 2 each time. So x plus 2, x plus 4, and x plus 6. OK, so those are first, second, third, and fourth consecutive even integers. And then it says, the sum of the first and third, if the sum of the first and third is multiplied by 5, the result is, there's a couple is's in here, this one, the result is, that's our equal sign. So let's figure out what's on the left of the equal sign. If the sum of the first and third is multiplied by 5. Okay, well the first and the third, the first is x, the third is x plus 4, the sum is we just add those together. And then we're going to multiply that by 5. So that's if the sum of the first and third is multiplied by 5. 
Now we've got our the result is, and we have 8 more than 9 times the fourth. Well, the fourth is x plus 6. 9 times the fourth is 9 times x plus 6. And 8 more than that is just plus 8. So let's see if we can solve that for x. So x plus x is 2x. This is going to be 5 times 2x plus 4 equals 9 times x plus 6 plus 8. We'll distribute the 5. 5 times 2x is 10x. 5 times 4 is 20. We'll distribute the 9. 9 times x is 9x. 9 times 6 is 54 and plus 8. And let's see, we've got x's on both sides of the equation, so let's subtract 9x from both sides. That'll leave us just with x over here, plus 20, equals 54 plus 8. So we can simplify 54 plus 8 is going to be 62, and x plus 20. Then to get x alone, we'll subtract 20 from both sides. And we're going to get x equals 42. So our consecutive even integers are going to be 42, 44, 46, 48, just as we have here. So that's a little bit of work with consecutive odd and consecutive even integers.